The Divi contact module is a very helpful element to add to your website, but unfortunately it can lead to a cluttered inbox full of spam. Adding a reCAPTCHA section to your Divi contact module can drastically cut down the amount of spam you receive through your contact form. In this tutorial, I will be walking you through how to add reCAPTCHA to your Divi contact form. But before we hop in, I just wanted to say hey, hey to all of my tech-loving friends. It's Sam, your favorite WordPress connoisseur, website developer, and strategist. If this is your first time here, welcome, happy to have you. And if you are a returning tech nerd, welcome back. Now, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to add reCAPTCHA, which is a Google CAPTCHA system to your Divi contact form. So the first thing you need to do is you need to make sure you actually have some sort of a Google account that you can use for this. And you'll go to the following address. I will have this in the YouTube description and also in the post description, but you'll go to google.com slash recaptcha slash admin slash create. So if you don't have an account in Google already, it will prompt you to log in and create an account. If you have an account, great, go ahead and just log right in. And what you'll wanna do is you want to register a new site for your reCAPTCHA. That's the first thing you have to do. So here you can give it some sort of name. This is just a label for you to identify the site in the future. I typically just give it the name of the site to make it very easy and abundantly clear to myself what the heck this is being used for. So in this case, we're using the Val Effortless Website Kit. So I'll go to Val. Effortless. And then when you come here, you need to make sure to select reCAPTCHA v3. This is the one that is required by Divi. So go ahead and click that little bubble there. The next thing you'll want to do is add your domains. You can see here, I tried to add it with the protocol with the HTTPS. You don't want to include that. So it's just the domain without the HTTP or HTTPS. Once you add the domain, go ahead and click enter. So it actually saves it and registers it in here. And then this will be your email address. You can add additional email addresses if you want to. I don't see why you would need to, so I just leave it as the default one that is a part of my Google account. You need to accept the terms. And then I typically uncheck this send alerts to owners box. I don't want to get alerted when someone tries to fill this out and it is unsuccessful, but maybe you do. So you can check that if you would like to, and then go ahead and click submit. Once you've submitted it, you will get two little pieces of code that you will want to put on your website. Obviously I've hidden these for privacy purposes, but you'll take the site key and the secret key and you'll be using those in the Divi module. So now that this has been created, go ahead and keep this in a separate window and then open up the contact form Go to the visual builder, open it up, and then we'll look at the settings. You can either do this on the front end or on the back end. It just depends on you know where you like to edit things in Divi. So coming down to this contact form module, I'll go ahead and click on the gear icon. And then I'll scroll past all of this stuff. By the way, if you want more information about how to set up these settings, I do have a separate video where I walk through all of the settings minus the spam protection for the Divi contact form module. So I'll be sure to link that in the post and in the YouTube description. So under here, under spam protection, that's what we want to click on. So using basic CAPTCHA is just the Divi's default um, addition CAPTCHA. So we don't want to use that. We actually want to say use a per spam protection service. So go ahead and click that one on. And then when it says service provider, we are just selecting reCAPTCHA. And then when it says the account, we need to create an account. So there's no account in here already. So we'll just go ahead and click on add. And then this is where we will give it the site key and the secret key that have been created over here in this other window. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy this key and then copy the secret key and then click submit. And now this account has been created for this spam protection service. So when I go ahead and click on the check mark, I might have to select this if it didn't default select it for me, but I just went ahead and clicked the default one. That's the one I created. Go ahead and click the check mark and then exit the visual builder. Don't forget to save your changes, of course. And now when I view this page over here on the right hand side, we see that it says protected by reCAPTCHA. So this will greatly reduce the amount of spam you get here in this form. It's a really, really great service. I like it because if you just create a contact form on Divi and on your WordPress website, you're more than likely going to get tons and tons of just spam random emails, but this mitigates that a lot and it just protects it with the typical uh, Google reCAPTCHA. And it's nice too, because there's no 
prompting to you know select the different boxes and things like that. I'm not an expert in how the reCAPTCHA works. I just know that when I add this to my forms, it makes a huge difference. So once you've set that up, you're all good to go. You can always come to reCAPTCHA and go to the analytics and kind of see more information about how many times you know people were trying to submit it and it wasn't working and things like that. So this is how you set up reCAPTCHA for your Divi contact module. If you found this video helpful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the channel for more simple and actionable tech, WordPress, and Divi tutorials for your business. Until next time, stay upbeat, stay joyful, and love your tech.